Hey, what's up guys? This is Crafty Fox, and today we are making the Montreal Tramways Open Observation Car number 4. And here's what it looks like. It's built in 1924, and right now it's in the Connecticut uh, Trolley Museum. And it, this is actually a commission by a ladybug marionette, so thanks to him for making this video possible. He also has commissioned a lot of things here in the past, uh, but the reason why he commissioned this one is because he volunteers at the museum itself. And this is his favorite car. And um, yeah, it's basically like it runs by itself. And uh, it's on electricity with this pole. It just connects to like this wire above here. And the actual controls are down here. There's like a driver's seat. And um, there's like the brake on the right. And <laughs> the left part, I guess like some kind of controls. Some box there. And in the back, there is also another brake. But you can't control the tram. Or the trolley from the back and yeah when he commissioned this he told me he was commissioning a trolley but I did not really expect to see this thing it's a very unique design it kind of looks like bleachers um, on tracks but yeah um, let's get started on the build so we're gonna take out sandstone slab we're gonna make it two blocks above the ground and we want to make an uh, upper slab five blocks wide like this and add one in the middle then behind it we're going to add a 3x3 three three using spruce wood planks and behind that we want to take gray concrete three blocks wide and then we're going to make it 14 blocks long so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 all right extend the rest across and in the back, we're going to add a 2x3 of spruce wood planks, like so. Then we're going to take out spruce wood stairs, add two just on this side. This is actually where uh, the, they access it. It kind of reminds me of like a bus, how it's only on one side. Do the same thing in the front. Uh, just two stairs like that. And then we're going to connect um, this segment together using an upper sandstone slab all the way across the side. And the other side, I think it goes all the way across, like so. And then we also need to wrap it around uh, the back part, like this. Then we're going to take out um, dark oak wood uh, trap door. Let's add it three block wide right underneath the back sandstone slabs. And we're going to add another one in the front, like so. Then we're going to take out um, smooth sandstone and we want to make a wall across just between these stairs and the other side we're going to do the same thing. While in the back section we want to line that up. So in the back section there's going to be like this wall. It really reminds me of like bleachers. So you make that U shape on top and the other side um, just make it go tall as well and then we're going to add five in front of this so one two three four five one two three four five and then uh, in the middle of this we're going to skip two and add a, another smooth sandstone block same thing on the other side and then we're going to skip one at sandstone slab and then skip two add smooth sandstone with a sandstone slab on top skip two and just add smooth sandstone skip two and then add sandstone slab like that all right so in the back let's add in um, iron bars two blocks tall like that we're also going to add a stone button right down over here and the front we're going to have these dark oak wood fences so that's going to wrap around like an l shape and also this section is like a little triangular shape. Now in between each of these pillars we want to have our um, dark oak wood fence all the way across. And same thing on the other side. And we're going to leave that hole alone. So right here is going to be where the stair is going to be. So 
Just add two sandstone stairs up like that. All right, now let's go to the front. Let's add some more dark oak wood fence. Make an L shape and where the part where the steps are gonna be, we're gonna place um, this dark oak wood fence gate instead. So this is where you can access it. You can open this up and walk inside. Let's close it up. Now we're gonna add in the, um, I guess the headlight. So we're gonna take uh, item frame with a white stained glass pane inside of it. And the other side, same thing. We're gonna go back to the front and this one actually says Park Avenue Snowden, so you can write that if you want to. So we're gonna add a sign over here. I'm not gonna write it, just to save us time. And next, let's see. We're gonna place some flower pots. So there is between this, right on top of that pillar in the front, and these five pillars in the back section. We're gonna have flower pots. Now, um, you know what? We should work on the bottom part since we've been <laughs> neglecting that area. So uh, we're gonna go right behind that uh, the stairs in the front, and let's add five blocks wide. I, I believe it's another brick slabs like that, and then we're gonna add uh, cyan terracotta, and then in the middle of that there is two. Um, another brick slabs like that, say on terracotta again, and let's add another brick slabs in between for the axles and hoppers for the sides of the wheels. And the middle of that, we're gonna add two cobblestone walls. So that is one bogey, and the bogey in the back. It's very similar. Uh, we're gonna skip one away from that stairs on this side and add in our wheel, so say on terracotta. And let's add two nether brick slabs. And say on terracotta again. Let's add nether brick slabs in between the axles. Hoppers on the side and cobble some walls in the middle. Like so. Alright, so once we're done with that, let's add in this little box here. So we're gonna go to the front, skip one away, and add two by five of nether brick slabs. It's like a little box. And that appears to be it for the bottom detail. Now let's work back on the top section. So we're going to take out um, spruce and spruce wood slab. So <laughs> this is going to be a T-shape. Three blocks long like that. And we need to add in the seats. So that's going to be our dark oak wood um, stairs right here, another one behind it goes up one block, then we're going to skip one, add another one, same level, uh, like so, skip one and it rises up, or actually that's the same level, so skip one, add another one to the same level, so there's pretty much all these, the four pairs are the same level. Like that, and then it kind of looks like a roller coaster. And then the last pair, it goes up one block. All right, cool. And this floor itself, it's going to be spruce wood uh, slabs, I believe. So there is going to be spruce wood slabs underneath these stairs. And I think it goes back three blocks. So. Yeah, it goes one block past that, okay. I hope I'm making sense, okay? It's pretty hard to explain what I'm doing. But basically, it's like three, three, I guess. This one goes up, and it's like three long. The slayer, spruce wood, slabs, and then, yeah, this one goes past. So this might be four. So let me check the slope on this. It's like three four four okay maybe the next one's okay that one's a three so just fill in the rest in like this just spruce wood slabs 
so it kind of like levels up each time. Let's also add in a sign on the side right here. And there is also like these details. I have no idea what it is, some kind of like roof thingy. I don't know, maybe it holds up the wire or something. Um, so to do that, we're gonna go to the pillar right behind that flower pot in the front. Let's add two blocks tall, another brick fence. And then we're gonna skip this pillar here and place some nether brick fences on the next one like that. And then we're gonna go diagonally inwards for all of them. Let's add another brick fence like that. And a dark oak wood fence gate connecting it together. And I really wish there was nether brick fence gate so there wouldn't be like a different color. But it is close enough, you can't really tell that apart so much. Okay, so now let's also add in dark oak wood fence gates in the front of these seats. And let's add in that pole. So we're gonna have uh, three cobblestone walls right be right in front of that pillar here. Acacia slab and then iron bars dangling up two blocks. Long like that. Now we're gonna add in the brakes. So that's just basically an oak wood trap door in the back. Open that up. And there is one in the front on this side. Open that up. Let's add another brick fence in the middle for the driver's seat. And next to that, like a, a spruce wood trap door for some detailing, like a little box. And yeah, I believe that's pretty much it on how to build the Montreal Tramways Open Observation Car number four in Minecraft. And thanks to the Ladybug Marionette for commissioning this build. If you guys like this video, remember to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.